Today on our 2017 Chevy Silverado 2500, we're going to be taking a look at showing you how to install the Demco fifth wheel and gooseneck 90 degree wiring harness with seven pole plug, part number DM855-5002. So here's where our Demco wiring harness looks like once it's installed. It's going to give us a seven way connector in the bed of our truck so that we can hook up our electrical whether we're using a gooseneck or a fifth wheel trailer hitch. Our connector is going to be made out of an ABS plastic. It's going to have a nice weather seal inside to keep our connection points from getting any corrosion on them. It's also going to have a nice spring-loaded cover, which is going to keep all that moisture and debris out. Now, what I really like about our wiring harness is that we're not going to lose our seven-way at the back, and it's still going to be fully functional. So if we do use a ball to tow anything, we'll still have our seven-way connector here. But then when we go to tow with our fifth wheel or gooseneck, we'll have our wiring in the bed ready for us. And that's actually where our harness is going to plug into is the back of our seven-way here. Now, it does come with 10 feet of length of cord. So we're going to have 10 feet to go from here to wherever you decide to mount it in your bed. Now that we've gone over some of the features and benefits, let's show you how we get it installed. First thing we're going to do is find a suitable location for our seven-way plug to be mounted. And I think we're going to mount ours right here on the driver's side, just inside the tailgate right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take a marker. I'm going to mark a spot where I'm going to go ahead and drill my hole. Now I'm just going to make a general location. I'm just going to put a dot right there. I'm going to come back with a center punch. I'm going to start off with a pilot hole. That way when I go to drill my larger hole with a hole saw, it won't go skipping around scratching my bed. I'm going to come back with a two inch hole saw. I'm going to cut that two inch hole right in the side of my bed. Now, if you look inside the hole, you'll notice that there's some bare metal exposed. It's never a good idea to leave bare metal exposed on your vehicle. So I'm going to come back with a little bit of black spray paint, paint over that bare metal, and it should help prevent any rust or corrosion from building up. The thing is, is if you don't have a spray in bed liner or if you have a color match bed liner, what you can do instead of using black is just come back with some clear so it'll protect it, but it won't discolor your bed liner or your truck. So after we have that hole drilled out, we're gonna to come to the bottom of our bumper. We're going right behind our license plate and that's where our seven way connector is gonna be. So what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna unplug it. So if we come to this gray tab, and we pull it away from the plug. It's a locking tab, it'll unlock it. Then we can push on this black button right here, and it should release the plug from the socket. Go ahead. You're gonna to wanna to grab your harness. You're gonna to wanna to grab the end that has two ends on it. And we're gonna take the female plug, plug it into the male, and the female plugging into the back of the bumper. And before I plug it in, I'm gonna put a little bit of dielectric grease just to help with corrosion, any kind of moisture building up inside of it. I'm gonna take a little bit, put it in each one of my connectors. And if you need some, you can pick some up on our website using part number 11755. Just gonna line up the connectors, plug them in until they lock. Now we're going to need to get the other end of our plug up to where we just drilled that two inch hole. Now everybody's going to do it a little bit different of how they're going to route it that direction, but I'm just going to run this over to the outside of my bed and then I'm going to run it up. We'll go over this cross member here, start routing it towards the outside. Now, if you reach down below, you can actually get your arm almost all the way up through the side of the bed here. And we should be able to push our plug up 
and get it to poke through the other side just enough so where we can grab it. So we got our plug wedged in the hole right here. Again, put a little bit of dielectric grease on the connector. Now we can take our seven-way plug and you're gonna to wanna to line up the notch and the notch in the socket. And since it is wedged in there right now, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of grab it while I push it into place. And make sure that it's locked into place. And we can let it go all the way in and get ready to mount the plug now. Take the self-tapping screws provided in our kit. I'm gonna be using a quarter inch nut driver to put them in place. I'm just gonna line up my socket so it looks nice and straight. And then I can start putting the screws in. Now we can go ahead and clean up all the loose wires underneath and make sure that everything's working. I just zip tie my wires to the frame here, bundle them up. That way I don't have to worry about it getting in the way or interfering with anything. So I'm gonna take my seven way tester and I'm gonna plug it in. And then I'm gonna grab an extra set of hands so they can run my lights so I can verify that everything's working properly. Okay, so the headlights are working. Can I use the left turn signal please? Good, right turn signal. Good, and the brakes. And both turn signals please. All right, everything looks good. We're ready to hit the road. And then I'll finish up our look at the Demco fifth wheel and gooseneck 90 degree wiring harness with seven pole plug, part number DM8555002 on our 2017 Chevrolet Silverado 2500.